Hi, I'm Joey with Celestial Fireglass, and today we're going to be covering connection kits. What they are, their components, how to use them, how to install them, plus some quick tips that help you with your upcoming fire pit project. So what is a connection kit? Well, just like the name says, it's a kit used to connect your burner to your gas source. Today I'll be demonstrating on our propane connection kits that would connect to a propane tank, though we do have natural gas kits available as well. The great thing about connection kits is just how easy and simple they are to install. And instead of buying multiple parts for each component and hoping they're compatible, the connection kit is an all-in-one resource to connect your burner pan to your portable propane tank. I do want to mention, Celestial Fireglass always recommends using a certified licensed gas installer to make all of your connections. Now let's dive in to all the components that are included in your propane connection kit. Starting from the propane tank side of your connection kit, the very first thing you'll notice is the propane tank fitting. This is a Type 1 Acme fitting that will fit on your standard 20 pound propane tank. From there, you'll have your propane regulator. This is a high pressure regulator to ensure the proper flow of propane to your burner. From your regulator, you'll then have four feet of rubber hose. Following that rubber hose is going to be your key valve. This is the central point of your connection kit. The key valve is a quarter turn valve used to adjust the gas going through your connection kit, which then will adjust your flame height. Included with your connection kit is a key that will fit directly into that valve. The standard key that comes with your connection kit is only three inches long. If you need a longer one, we do have different sizes available, but I'll cover all that more later. After your key valve, you'll have five more feet of rubber hose. To then, you'll have your air mixer. Now the air mixer uses outside air to pressurize the gas going to your burner. We cover that in another video that I'll link in the description. And those are the components of your propane connection kit. So now, let's get into how to install it. You may notice on your air mixer that it ends in a male fitting. Now the bottom of your burner pan is most likely also a male fitting. Your air mixer is actually comprised of three components. The first is the brass air mixer piece itself. Second is a female to female chrome coupler. And third is a male fitting that fits inside of that coupler. To install your air mixer, you'll most likely need to remove that male fitting in the coupler. Now it's important to still leave that female to female coupler on as that provides an important gap between your burner and your air mixer. Next, you'll need to mount your key valve. Now you do have that five feet of rubber hose after your air mixer, so it does give you some wiggle room as to where you want to mount it. Though typically, I see this down on the side of your fire feature. To mount your key valve to the side of your fire feature, you'll need to unscrew the chrome key valve cover. That will leave you with just the key valve which you can measure and then cut a hole in the side of your fire feature to feed your key valve through and then screw that chrome cover right back on. After you successfully mount your key valve, you then have four feet of rubber hose before your regulator and your propane tank connection. Connecting to your propane tank is very simple. You want to take your fitting and screw it onto the tank's threads as tight as you can get it with your hands. And that's how to install your propane connection kit. A common configuration for fire pits and fire features is to have the propane tank located underneath the burner. The main thing to consider when doing this configuration is to make sure you have plenty of space between the tank and the burner to make sure there are no hard kinks or coils in the hoses of your connection kit. As I mentioned earlier, your key valve does come with a 3 inch key. If the sides of your fire feature are made of pavers or some thicker material, a 3 inch key and your key valve might not be thick enough to reach through it. This can easily be resolved by simply extending the key valve and the cover. To do this, you'll need to head to your local plumbing or hardware store and find a piece of pipe that can both screw into the key valve and the chrome key valve cover. From there, you can use one of our longer keys to reach through that extension and still turn your key valve. If you have any questions about connection kits or your upcoming project, please reach out to Celestial Fireglass. We'd love to connect with you and ensure your project is successful.